welcome to my new video. If you're new here, hi, I'm Lex. Today we are gonna look at 15 different ideas for filling those pesky empty spaces on your island. I have seen so many requests for those since I did the last one, so I hope that these help. They definitely vary across themes and like size of the area, so I hope it's helpful. Before we get into that, I just wanted to do a self-care check. Remember to be drinking water today, eat a nutritious meal, take your meds if you have any, you know, take care of yourself, care for yourself today. I also wanted to thank all of my channel members. There are so many new members this time. I appreciate you all so much. And if you'd like to join, the link is in the description. The first island we have today is a land bridge that kind of connects one part of the island to the other. I just, I was enchanted by this when I saw the photo submission. Look at how beautiful it is. And I think it's very achievable across different themes, whether you have forest core or fairy core, and you can even incorporate some kind of, uh, some kind of land bridge with city core, you know? So it doesn't have to be natural like this, although I absolutely adore the waterscaping that the creator has done, the mix of flowers and weeds and custom designs that take up the land. It's just beautiful and so helpful for filling this huge space. Up next is an island that might be familiar to you if you caught my tour of the whole island last week. This is the Island of Potato and I wanted to include this Hydrangea Temple Garden because I think it is so creatively done. Again, we've got some impressive terraforming bridges. It makes a beautiful view and it's mostly natural things, you know, plants. We've got a lot of trees, a lot of shrubs, a lot of flowers, and then custom design pathing that takes up all of the space. It's a huge part of the island and it all looks so beautiful and natural. Definitely think you could incorporate something like this. This next idea is kind of a double whammy in terms of being useful for your island. We've got a flea market here, which how pretty is it? It's so well set up. It's right here by the villager home, so it could also be like a yard sale sort of deal. And then we've got a playground, and the creator pointed out that these are super useful builds because they allow you to use some of the furniture that's just sitting in your storage. All of these flea market items might not be things you would use in a regular build, but they look so good out here for sale. And I just think that's such a creative way to get a lot of, you know, interesting items out of storage. Another way to take up big areas of space is to use a lot of the new items that we have to make your own buildings. How cool is this little shopping market? It's made out of the storefronts and other items that are available after the 2.0 update, which by the way, it's so impressive to me that things like this already exist. I mean, look at how fleshed out this area is. It's so beautiful, so creative, and it definitely takes up a wide swath of the island. It's right here behind resident services, so it's also an idea for what to do behind there. I know it can really stump some of us how to decorate right behind such a huge building, but this creator did just a fantastic job. I mean, look at how beautifully all of these buildings come together. Getting back into some natural space fillers, here we have a beautiful collection of waterfalls with a little picnic in front. I love those. These are two of my favorite things, terraforming and picnics. You can lie down on the picnic blanket and I think that is so precious. And it's such a beautiful like composition here. The colors are just phenomenal. I mean, look at this view. Look at the trees, how just amazingly golden they are. I think this is a wonderful idea for, you know, filling, filling those empty spaces. Up next, I thought this creator did a brilliant job of combining pathways with many islands that you can walk through. All of these are navigable and I think they are just so pretty. I love this idea because it is so adaptable for your island. I mean, these islands are just like mini gardens with pathways, but you can make them anything. They could be a huge hybrid garden where each island is a different flower color with different like items that match that color. You could do bunches of trees on the little islands. You could do pretty much anything and so I think this makes it super useful for all kinds of themes, all kinds of different ideas and different, you know, sizes of empty space. This could be a huge area or you could just have one tiny little mini island. This is one of the cutest and most specific ideas I've ever seen, but look at 
this. Again, we're seeing a lot of the 2.0 items in use, almost exclusively 2.0 items being used here, but it's a drive-in movie theater. How cute is that? I love the use of the wheat field so that it feels, I don't know, like almost kind of like a hay ride sort of deal, but drive-in movie. I think this creator did a brilliant job. I love the movement introduced by the windmills and you can even climb up to the next cliff story and look at that. Look at this epic view. It's just gorgeous. I thought this was precious and now I want a drive-in movie theater on my island. Thanks. Another thing you can do is create centerpieces on your island in the different empty areas that you have. I think they're so useful and again, they can look like any kind of theme. I mean, in a city core island, this could be a little fruit stand, whereas on this elegant core island, it's a wedding bell with shrubs all around it. I think it's gorgeous and it does a good job of filling this tiny space. I loved the terraforming on this next island. We get another example of a little island within an island and this one is so different from the earlier one we saw. Look at how the space is being used. It feels so lush and full and I love the like very narrow pathway that you can follow through the different waterfalls that are going on. I just thought this was a brilliant way to fill empty space and it's right near the beach so it kind of shows you what you can do with the edges of your island which can sometimes be difficult to build on since they are so close to the beach it's hard to place trees and terraform obviously not for this creator they did a wonderful job here I wanted to make sure I paid some attention to truly tiny spaces in this video as well. So look at this tiny restaurant that fills this kind of awkwardly sized space between the resident representative's house and Nook's Cranny. It's just here beside a little pond along the pathway that you'd follow naturally through the island. And it just feels, you know, it feels like a, its own build. It's wonderful how this can happen. I mean, the furniture here is perfect. There are only a few items in use at all, and yet it is its own little space filler. I think it's so clever to do things like this, and I love the mismatched chairs detail. I am an absolute sucker for pathways as a space filler. Look at how wide this pathway ended up being. The path itself, you know, is very narrow. It's just this little dirt path winding through the forest, but look at everything that surrounds it. This is an incredible view. And it's, you know, this is something I would post on Instagram or at my island, and it's just like a transitional space. It's a really clever way to take up space on your island because there is no limit to how much space you can take up. And again, different themes would work. I mean, in Tropicore, this could be a sort of boardwalk. I just think it's beautiful. I've shown a couple of rather large builds that happen to be behind resident services and I wanted to show off this one that is very small. This is a tiny little picnic and it's situated right behind resident services in this. Again, it's a space that would be really awkward to fill. I mean, imagine just the waterscaping and nothing here on the grass. I would re I wouldn't know what to do. I would probably end up building a cliff or doing just some trees. But this is so cute and picnics again are something that can vary greatly in size. You can make a huge picnic blanket, you can make a tiny one like this, and you can use all manner of items to fill this space. I guess you could kind of call this a pathway, but I thought this was so different from anything else I've seen so far on the list, and honestly, so different from most, like anything I've seen on social media so far. This is a gorgeous little farm with string light pathway beside it. The string lights are so gorgeous, by the way, but look at this. It's so cute. This is taking up a huge part of the land and it definitely feels natural to the island. It doesn't feel like a little extra thing. It fits in so well with the rest of the aesthetic. I think another brilliant way to take up space is to use any remaining inclines or bridges to create views. They can be so aesthetic, especially bridges in my opinion, but this creator did both a real bridge and this fake one, which I thought was so effective. This area is gorgeous and it combines, you know, the bridge idea with some extravagant terraforming. The grander it is, the more space it takes up. So if you have a lot of space on your island, consider doing a cool little pathway like this that has its own terraforming. Terraforming doesn't necessarily have to be based on another build or a building on your island. It can just be freestanding and gorgeous like this. 
I tried not to include buildings in this video since they are their own space filler. I feel like, you know, you have to do builds with them because you can't get rid of the buildings on your island. So they're kind of obvious, but this I just had to include. It's like an extended villager yard. That's how it's different from just a regular villager yard. It comes out so far. It's so grand. It's so distinct from everything around it. This is very clearly Tangy's yard, her little courtyard almost, and I thought it was just stunning. Look at all of the furniture here. That is all of the ideas I have for you today. I hope that you're feeling inspired. Thank you so much. If you watched all the way to the end, let me know in the comments. I don't have a question idea right now. So just drop your favorite emoji. I don't know. And I'll assume that it's because you watched till the end, you know, I'll see you all in the next video. And here is my little sister peaches to tell you all goodbye for now. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one.